Yo, what is going on studs around the world? In today's video I am going to show you by far the fastest method to level up your weapons and your overall level in Modern Warfare 3. The first thing you'll have to do is make your way over into the zombies menu, make your way over into the gear tab and select your loadout. If your cooldown timer on your insured weapon slot is ready to go, go ahead and select any gun. This is going to be ideal because you'll be able to start with the one you want to level up. Once you have your weapon selected, pick any tactical and lethal, it really does not matter. What is important, however, is making sure for the field upgrade you have the energy mine selected. Every single person will have this one unlocked, it is the first one you get, so don't worry about unlocking it. Before you start your match, I would highly recommend activating a double overall level XP token and a weapon XP token, it is going to speed the process up much faster. And the last thing before we start the match, make sure squad fill is turned off, this way you'll be the only one in your party and you won't have any interruptions. Once it spawns you into the game, pull out your minimap and you will notice that there is no exfil icons on the map yet. There will be no exfil sites that spawn for the first 2 minutes of the game, however, once the first 2 minutes are up, you will notice that there is going to be exfil icons all over the map. Make sure you find one on the outskirts of the map that is not in the yellow or the red zone, this is going to ensure that it is the easiest to kill the zombies since they will have the lowest possible health. Once you get to the Exfil location, the process is about to begin. You will then want to go ahead and call in the Exfil helicopter and you will see a bunch of zombies start spawning. So this is where the magic happens. If you take a look in the top left hand corner of the screen, just underneath the minimap, you can see a timer ticking down. Once that number starts ticking down to the lower minutes, you will notice that there is going to be much more zombies spawning. Now, once you eliminate all of the zombies and the Exfil helicopter takes off, don't jump inside, let it take off without you. You'll want to stay in the approximate location of the exfil site because exactly one minute after the helicopter takes off, it is going to come back and allow you to exfil again. Once you start to notice that there is a lot more zombies spawning, you can locate the pack-a-punch machine on a minimap and make your way there to pack-a-punch your weapon. This is exactly where you want to start using your energy mine, you will notice that once you unleash it in the middle of the horde, it is going to set off a chain reaction and basically eliminate all of the zombies in the vicinity. One thing that I've been doing is the second I throw the energy mine, I shoot at the horde of zombies so that by the time the energy mine goes off, another energy mine is ready for use. And now I'm just going to tell you a couple very important points. So, any field upgrade or any lethal equipment is going to contribute towards your weapon XP, assuming that the weapon is held in your hands. As for ammo, don't worry about running out of it. You'll notice that on the ground, once you kill the hordes, there is going to be tons for you to pick up and you're never even going to come close to running out of it. That is pretty much it for this method, you'll want to run this until the very end of the game, make sure to exfil successfully before the timer runs out so you get the maximum amount of XP. Thank you very much for watching, have an awesome day, peace.